Hi Otsumane Gardeners, welcome back to the Otsumane Gardening Channel. My name is Emmanuel Arcet, well known to be the Otsumane Gardener. In today's exciting spring video, I'm gonna be discussing with you guys about growing cherries. So let's jump right into this video. So jumping right into our video, we're gonna be talking about two topics, which is the growing guide and planting guide. Super easy video, and after this video, you should become an absolute pro at growing cherries. So let's roll into our topic number one, which is the complete growing guide. Rolling into our topic number one, which is our sunlight requirements. I recommend giving you six to seven plus hours of direct sunlight in order to thrive. Here in South Florida, our sun is treacherous. It is absolutely killer. And I was surprised to see that it absolutely loves the sun. It hasn't burned. So I actually transplanted it three different times. So the placement where it is right now, it was its original spot, then I moved it to a more shadier area. It didn't really like the shade, so I moved it back to where it is right now. And if we and we've been having an abundant amount of harvest throughout the season. And this is our third flush of flowers, meaning our third flush of cherries that are coming its way. So once again, they like six to seven plus hours of direct sunlight. Number two is their watering schedule so they like well draining soil but that could hold on to a little bit of moisture because when it's too dry or when they tend to dry out in between waterings they want some moisture bubbles they could draw in from because cherries like well draining soil their roots do not like to sit in water but they do like moisture around their root ball constantly so make sure you're out there checking how their soil is I would recommend watering once the plant is newly planted every three, two to three days and once it's a more mature plant, you could water every week. So coming on to our third topic, which is their fertilizing schedule. Everybody I, I tell when they ask questions about fruiting plants, about what fertilizer should I use, I recommend always using organic matter, whether that be compost, food scraps, earthworm products. It doesn't matter what you use, organic matter is the way to go because when it comes to fruiting plants, Granule fertilizers that are chemically produced aren't so great because they do adjust it when it comes to the fertilizers, although it might have high nitrogen or high potass. When it comes to organic matter, it just works way better. So once you harvest your first batch of cherries, you would want to fertilize it right there and then so it could build up that energy for the next flush of blooms and cherries that are on their way. So you would want to use organic matter or if you want an exact fertilizing schedule, I would recommend fertilizing every two to three months or every season. Number four is pruning. When it comes to pruning cherries, they get very big. So you want to keep them a little bit more compact. And something I find very useful to know is when you prune them, you want it actually amples up the levels of cherries you get every single time. So it's not so hard to cher to prune a cherry. There's not a, nothing so special. You just prune it to your desired size. Just cut off any old growth that is either dead or ha it has any type of disease on it. Any leaves, any stems, anything that has a disease on it, you want to discard automatically anything dead. So you can withdraw all that energy to the current blooms or current fruit on the plant. So we already talked about our growing guide, now let's talk about our planting guide. Super easy to do. Make sure, like I said before, planting in a very sunny area where it's well draining. If you live in a drought area, I would recommend planting your plant, not at soil level, but an inch below surface so it could actually retain a little bit more water so it could accumulate a little bit more water. If you live in an area like I am in Florida where there's a lot of rain, I would recommend planting your tree either in soil level or a half an inch above soil level so it could actually not keep or puddle that water at that base but actually spread that water evenly and water your plant good and it could be well draining. So super easy for the plant guy, just make sure you stay vigilant when it comes to when your fruit starts turning red because even when you don't even expect it, something's going to come and snatch your cherry before it's even ripe for you to actually try it. So I would recommend trying out if you're a beginner gardener, if you're starting to do fruits and everything with the Barbados cherry, then you can go with Suriname and any other cherries you would like to try out, but Barbados is the winner for me. So thank you all so much for watching this video. May God bless you and your family and never forget to grow big ultimate gardeners. Bye guys.